What's up, y'all? It's your boy, A-Pocket. It's your girl, Melissa. And we are Converse. We do not have all the answers. We're just starting the conversation. So let's get started. Agree. We in here. Turn up, turn up. Where's the bitches? Damn! That joint was cranking. That nigga Reggie Cools cranked that joint. But, um... <laughs> and so we're both calm, we're both collective, you know, you see he's doing the 70 days. Water. 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 So, oh, I'm happy y'all, I mean, I'm happy y'all, it's good, it's good. Okay. So, so, speaking of water, um. My zodiac sign, I'm a cancer. Aqua, I mean Agua, you know, shout out to the club in D.C., Agua. I'll be going to see a uh, backyard, TCB. <laughs> Shh. But, you know, they're not over right now. <laughs> yes. um, so, uh, shout out to Aqua, but speaking of Aqua, mm -hmm. um, we're making an Aqua Martini today. Oh. Uh, martinis are pretty much her favorite drink. Yes. It's pretty much all alcohol usually. Um, which probably is, which, don't make it seem like I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, so most, alcohol. most, any typical martini has a lot of alcohol in it. Yes, it does. So, how do you drink? Yay! To make this Aqua Martini. So, um, like you said, every time we do it, the Martini. So we're gonna need to chill the alcohol. We'll start a little bit of ice. Um, calls for a shot and a half of vodka. You know, my favorite thing is the Tito's. You see my man got the joint on there. It's Christmas time. So, so it calls for a shot and a half. So since we drink it for two, um, I think that might be a shot and a half. But hey, don't know. Get drunk! So, shot and a half, so we're gonna go shot. Two shots, okay. but two and a half shots would be three shots, right? Yes. Fuck it, three shots. Turn up. So, cold liquor um, calls for two uh, two ounces of hypnotic. I know y'all sitting here looking like, oh my lord, yes, two ounces of hypnotic calls for an ounce of white cranberry juice. Yeah, white cranberry juice. I know I'm moving kind of fast today, but you can't. When you, when you get a drink like this, you, I kind of want to taste it just as bad as everybody else, baby. You with me? So the last thing we do, I said quarter ounce of fresh lemon. So. I feel like maybe a half, you know, maybe one little squeeze of it right there. Just be good enough. So. So, you know, martinis, we do not put ice in the glass. Martinis are done just like this. This is falling on my joint like that. This, right there. So, and last but not least, I know I don't usually garnish all the time, but it's a nice little garnish because I feel like it, it would really look nice with the drink. So, two aqua martinis. Oh, is that? Tainted. This means I'm probably going to get drunk on the show today. It looks kind of nice though. It does. Ooh. Good. Mm. Very good. So, I want to know. Oh, God. I want to know. Okay. What you want to know? What was up with everybody and these superpowers? I have superpowers. I got superpowers, bitch! But seriously, what's up with these superpowers? Okay, superpowers. So basically, they're saying that, you know, the planets have not been this close to each other in 800 years. So, Jesus. 
and they have not been together and so basically you're getting a clean slate is is you're getting a clean slate in all your energy and it's basically if you on december 21st get your stuff in order you can manifest everything you want and it will happen probably in the next 20 years so you have 20 years of pure manifestation but only if your energy is clean okay so like for me you know i did um my manifestation list that I do that you know like I have one when I was like well, like 10 that actually all of it came true but I did one for my manifestation for 20 years what I want in the next 20 years you know also getting ready for 2021 what you want you know your manifestations to be and so you know you, you might get superpowers you might you know you might like so like, I could turn into like Spider-Man of course you're asking to turn into Spider-Man <laughs> No, I mean, to Spider Man. Spider Man, move, move, right? Do your dance on that floor. We don't Superman no more. We just Spider Man at home. So if I had a superpower, I definitely would. Um, if you could have a superpower, okay, what would it be? I'm gonna tell you, man. Okay, so if I had superpower, hmm. I would be able to time travel. That's what I want. Why though? Because, Explain why you okay. time travel. Because. I want to like say for I had a chance to go to the past for a week mm -hmm. and see how like the Harlem Renaissance and experience it for a whole entire week mm -hmm. and then come back to the present like it's nothing to experience something you like you can hear first-hand stories second-hand stories but it's nothing like you experience yourself so I would love to go you know to the 20s real quick see how they dress you know get dolled up like and then come back to the future the present and then go to the future real quick and see how I'm gonna be when I'm like you know, 40, 50, and five. When I'm 50 and five, and come back, like. That's lit. Okay, so what's yours? Hey, that's kind like lit. If I had a superpower, um. Uh, I would definitely. I would definitely pick up the power to, like. To, like, water bend. <laughs> To like be able to just like you know Qatar from I know early. that's why I immediately fucking lit, bro. <laughs> One because like oh maybe it's not a good thing because like I got attitude problem not attitude problem but like I get irritable with certain things. He's so working like, on it, y'all. He's getting so it. Like, I get irritable with certain things like and I mess around to so, like bang your fucking blood and shit and you just like, hey you all this jaw looking like this. Okay, dude, looking like thriller night and shit. So that's that why power. I say I didn't want that power because like sometimes dealing with my irritability, but okay. but I fuck with it because like I can like really just like go off the coast and like just like just get something, I get a boat and move myself. Across the ocean, like yeah. just some lit shit. That's just some lit shit. So anyway, okay. So what I wanted to say today is, I hope y'all get y'all superpowers. Um, I hope so too. I don't know if superpowers are real. Do not disrespect it. But I hope the universe. Like I that. hope we get superpowers. We do. The superpowers are the inner sides of you. Shit, you, you, when we take this vaccine, fuck around, might she might get superpowers. I'm in love with Mary Jane. She's my main thing. She makes me feel alright. She makes my heart sing. I, my idea of cannabis was very limited. So as y'all know, I was an opera singer. Um, I have used to sing. I don't want to say professionally, <laughs> <laughs> but I used to sing opera. <laughs> And because of that, um, I did not want to take no chances of, you know, dealing with weed. And, you know, I also grew up, the way I grew up and stuff and everything, you know, weed was something that you was, you know, taboo was, you know, something that wasn't everyday life and stuff. Um, well, as, that's, that's you. Continue. All right. <laughs> that was my experience with weed. Um, uh, me, um, me growing up, um, Mary, I was the, the, the chubby kid with asthma. Okay. That um, I used to go out, uh, play basketball and football around the way and shit like that. I was just a fat kid with asthma, uh, constricted windpipe sometimes, but mm -hmm. I still played. But like as time, you know, my mom would always tell me when I got in high school, don't be mess with the weed. <laughs> don't fuck with your asthma. Don't mess up your asthma. Okay. You know, little little things like that. But like, I, you know, I was, I wasn't like, you know, 
down, you know, frowned upon people that smoke. I knew a lot, like going through ninth grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, mm -hmm. tenth grade, eleventh grade. Mm -hmm. I knew a lot of niggas that smoke, like mm -hmm. teammates, mm -hmm. like niggas I hung with that I ain't even know smoked. That you know, just little things. So it's like when I got to it, I was what like seventeen. Okay. I was like a month before my eighteenth birthday. Okay. So I, you know, it was like right before college for real. So like, okay. you know, I started when I got to it. It was just like. It was more like a, it was kind of like frowned upon. It was okay. still like frowned upon by the, by like, the law for real. Yeah. But it wasn't like frowned upon by like people. Okay. So you know I, I was I was cool when I started smoking weed. I started like seven. All right. So with me, I'm a late bloomer. I've been always a late bloomer, but it's okay because I late bloom and I bloom hard. But um, pause. But saying that, um, I just recently in the last year and a half got into cannabis. Um. Whether it's ointments, whether it's cream. Ten years in, baby. I, I, I see, bro. I see, I see. <laughs> um, but the thing about it is just that I'm the cannabis industry. I'm so excited to see where it's grow. Um, I'm loving that um, black women are getting involved in it. I love, my only biggest concern about the cannabis industry is that all the people that went to jail off of having dope bags mm -hmm. and everything, I want them, their places to be cleared. I want them to be let go and stuff. If we're going to really make cannabis legalized, mm -hmm. I want that back. Like, um, and then also, my other question is, is that if cannabis is straight from the earth, it's naturally from the earth, and you actually have those chemicals in you, why is it illegal? I wondered that, cause like, like I like how you said that. So speaking of the old stigma, um, Cat Williams, funniest nigga, mm -hmm. funniest nigga. Like he said it as a, when I was a kid. He said it in the Pimp Chronicles joint. He was like, he's like, drugs. You gotta do something. You gotta make it in a lab. Do some chemical to it. Right. You know, baking soda water, mix it up. Right. I don't fucking know. But <laughs> we like you literally could just like. Put a seed in the ground in fucking California, uh -huh. and like a couple months later, you got weed, bro. Like, and you pull it off and you smoke it right there. You pull it off and do whatever you do with it and smoke it. So what? What I never understood is why is something that come from the earth, the earth, illegal, and it but also, like man-made drugs, right, are legal. And then also, if cannabis has the power to cure so many things, such as pain you know and you are not addicted to opioids or volume or oxy or whatever the drug it is for pain it could bring down anxiety it could bring down anxiety it could bring so much why are we not why has it taken this long for society to even think about this yep. being an alternative when mm -hmm. it's a hundred percent natural and stuff instead of something that's handmade that you know it's chemicals and you're dealing with you know, mm -hmm. tell, do a chemical is not something that naturally comes out the ground, right? You, um, have, you have to make it, right? Ah, uh, not all the time. There's okay. some. There's some like if it comes in like a liquid form, mm -hmm. um, it could be a natural. Element. Some things are a natural element that comes in a liquid form. Okay. But there are a lot of things. There are a lot of chemicals that are in a lab that are. Um, made from natural elements so okay. they're like uh you know different compounds different right. compounds that are made out of different elements okay so they're not natural okay. but they're made from natural things all right so they could be like synthetic compounds and stuff like that but damn i just told a lesson on stuff like this i'm hey. the biology teacher as we see um so saying that like i just i don't know there's so many things but when it gets back to the stigma like i've since college my mind or has really expanded and grown, and so now I am a candidate. A candidate. I'm not a candidate. A uh, um, advocate for cannabis. Um, you know, um, I, I was thinking about getting into my grandmother. My grandmother suffers with Alzheimer's, and she um, also has very bad arthritis. And I literally was five seconds away from getting a pie that was very high in CBD oil and cannabis to, um, you know, see if we can get the pain away. I really was that serious. Um, me and my girls were talking. What y'all talking about? Man? Uh, of course you want to be in our group chat. Anyway, me and my girls were talking. And I was like, I need a male opinion on this now. Hold up, you was in the girls chat. Yes. And he told them, you need a male opinion. Yeah, we need okay. a male opinion. Cool, cool, cool. What's up? Because, you know, we are... Women 
are from Venus and men are from Mars. I don't know that. Is, is it like yeah, that? they, they say it's like that. Okay, and so... So I guess we, Earth is just like the place we meet in the middle and yeah. shit. Yeah. So, of course, because our mind is this way and their mind is that way, I wanted a male perspective. You know, I, they get on my nerves, but I do value the men perspective. Respect. So... Ditto. What about women? Ditto. How do I ask this? Shit. Uh, ask what? Oh, well, I can't say ask what because I don't even know what you about to ask me. Oh, kind of nervous. Lord. I want to clutch. To ask me to do. I want to clutch my pearls when I do to say this. Okay, yeah, so. Make you. Let me take a. Uh, let me take two sips. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a Like the sip. old lady in the joke when the, the dude try to rob her. <laughs> See, the drink is falling apart just because I'm like I'm nervous about taking. Better it. not take me. Okay. Wonderful. So. What you talking? Girl, probably millennial girl, has seen a thirst trap, you know, here and there. You said, but so you said every millennial girl's probably have sent a thirst trap here and there, yeah, yeah. whether it was completely nude, whether it was it clothed, clothed, whether whatever you the, thir the the object of the picture was to get the male in a thirsty situation to where yeah. he like, oh shit, Charlotte, what's up with you though? Okay. I get what you're saying. Yes. Right. But, when do you send that shit? What is thirst trap etiquette? Like, and when do you send that shit? I don't know, because, like, thirst traps be confusing for real, yo. Do you send that after y'all been talking, what, for, like, four months? Do you send That's, it? That, I don't even, even then you don't know. Like, then do you send it after y'all actually have official title? And then, if then, do you, like, when do you send it? Because you don't want to make sure it doesn't show up on Instagram and stuff and everything. <laughs> like, you don't want it to show up on, like, no OnlyFans. No, you don't want Facebook or something. Or you, you know, you know, you ride down the street and then somebody grandmother said, I'm a beat your ass. Why? What are you talking about, Mrs. Jones? I, I saw your goodies on the internet. Then you gotta call the old boy up and say, You really hey. forgot who you showed that to? Like, so hey, my quick question bro. is, What is dirt strap etiquette? And then you should even do it. But then, like, there's so many questions. Like, now that I, I'm already, the liquor's talking. Like, when do you do this? And do, like, do you do, do you just, hey, like, do, do you, when do you really do this? All right, so I don't, I mean, all right, for guys, thirst trapping is like, it's, it's just never a good thing for us. I'm a, so we should never do it for y'all? For, nah, for us, it's not a good thing. Like, Alright, I'ma say it like for niggas, you gotta pick and choose your thirst traps be. Like as a dude sitting in the thirst trap, you gotta pick and choose your spots. You gotta pick your spots. If she if she on you like she if she on a nigga like she want a nigga, maybe. But even then you don't know. Because like some girls just don't like thirst traps. Some okay. some girls don't I can like, understand it turns Some girls you off. don't like thirst traps. Some girls don't like dick pics. Some girls don't like no, none of that shit. No, 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 and no, that, no, no. And that's fine. No, because it's like that's all you want from me is sex. Like I, I get, I get and, it. And that don't even always be the case. It just be like you know some people just be I don't know what the case is, but like that don't always be the case. But then you got jumps. Oh, that, God, I just had flashbacks. Then you got girls that that be with the shits. Like that be off the. Oh no, nah, go ahead and send that thirst trap through. You know, you got some Jones be off the. I had a girl tell me off the break. You, you, oh, yeah, you sent me a dick pic. I need to know. You know what you hitting on. I ain't see what you working with. Oh, God. She really asked me that. I was like, damn. I just had a flashback of a really good thirst trap. Take, I could do nothing but take a drink when I seen that. No, I just had a flashback of a really good thirst trap. Oh, my God. Too bad I didn't work out with him, but he was amazing. Anyway. Back to the story. Just but watch like, back, women, watch, watch. Women, I don't know. Like, men, women, I don't feel like, I don't feel like niggas, like, be off the, the fuck? Man, this bitch sending me a thirst trap. I don't think a nigga do, get mad at Do y'all get excited? Do y'all get happy? Like, what, what, what? I feel like, I, I don't know. Does it depend on the nigga? I like, like it. I like it. I mean, me personally, I don't even have to, I don't want to ask for that thirst traps. Like, I don't even want to ask. Do you even want them? I don't care less if I get them. But if I get them, I'd be like, oh, shit, God. Oh, why? You know? Half the time, you ain't got to ask a girl for a thirst trap. Like, oh, her thirst trap's on Instagram. That is true. You ain't got to ask a girl for a thirst trap these days. Like, that, that all is... her thirst traps on Instagram. Just watch a story for like a week. You get at least three of them. Like, just watch a story for like, watch your Insta story for like a week. You get three of them. That is true. Watch and a page for a month. Like, I've never been a thirst trap girl. Like, I just, I'm, I'm so paranoid that somebody's going to try to show my goodies on the internet. And before I know yeah. I'm on world store. And like, I'm going to face no case. 
that don't mean nothing. You no, see my, you see my body. It's no face, not, no case. You see my body. No. You gotta take all your pictures from the, from the collarbone down. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think that's gonna work for me. But anyway, <laughs> gotta take the collarbone down. Anyway, regardless, I'm just like, uh, uh. So like, no so yeah. So my girls was asked to comment in the section below because like my girls really been asking about like, when is do you? Do a thirst trap, do and and how you do it without making the guy think you're not a hoe. Mm. Because so all right, so what you trying to say? Like, is there a specific thirst trap pictures that you could take that like they still look nice but they not like hoeish? No, no, I'm saying cause some. I feel like every girl should be proud of their body okay. naked. And I feel like every girl should take naked pictures. Now it should be for yourself, but it it, it shouldn't be posted to the you know the, the world, the, the world. world. But if you have a significant other that you truly trust in, I don't want to say in love, but you know y'all got that thing going on, like, and you want to say, baby, I'm proud of my body. I want to show you this. When do you post this? When do you send this to to the guy? And without him, especially when y'all don't have a title, because I feel like once y'all boyfriend and girlfriend, if he has even thinks about doing that shit, you should kill him. What? Like, let's say you in a relationship with someone and they could mm. give you thirst traps and stuff. Like, you know, at work or something, you know, they just be like, ah, I'm bored, baby, and give you, you know, naked pictures. Or better yet, they just got done with a wax. What's like, wrong with that? Nothing's wrong, but they should have been... The nigga better not show that to his boys. Oh, no, you can't. No, you can't. That when, like, no, that's when y'all in a title and committed relationship, no, shit. Can't. I don't even feel like you should show thirst traps to your, to your niggas, honestly. No. Like, I ain't gonna hold you, like, I don't even think you should show thirst traps to your niggas. Like, I know niggas probably used to do that shit in high school. Like, you get a picture of shorty in an underwear, you be like, bro, look at the shorty. You know, you get a picture of shorty titties or something, you be like, bro, look at the titties. It was like... But we grown like niggas seen titties before. I know like, the girls seen dicks before. Girl, like, you know, you seen what titties, you seen ass. Girls seen dicks, like you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but like I feel like women go crazier when they get dick pics in their phones, though. Then when niggas like get a like a, a booty pic or some titties or something like that, Dude. pussy pic or whatever. I feel like I feel like women be OD and okay, like so I have they be like, bitch, this nigga just sent me a dick pic. Um, like, I feel like girls be going crazy. Well, you tell me. Do y'all be going, going? Like you asked for males and peeing in the group chat, so like. Now you asked for the females. Yeah, I'm asking y'all. So in y'all group chat, do y'all like? Y'all be going dumb, od crazy when one of your friends drop a dick pic in the joint. Be like, so. It's more like we do comparisons <laughs> of what he has to offer to the world. So like. This is probably what? going so, against. So based on this, this, this is based going, on the picture on, that no, no, is shown. No, 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 no. This is this, let, go, uh, let me explain. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, control, so baby. Control, this is probably baby. Going all against girl group group chat because y'all, my girls don't kill me. You don't gotta be in the specifics. Just like so, basically, let's say you have a guy who's exhibit A, and you have a guy who's exhibit B. Now you say, okay, this one has a job, this one doesn't have a job. This one has an apartment, this doesn't have an apartment. This one got a good relationship with his mom, and this one doesn't have a good relationship. This one, this, this nigga's losing it. This one has no baby mama, this one has a baby mama. This one has a small dick, but this one has a big dick. This one has a dick that is good and great, but this one doesn't. Boom! You do the comparison because you're asking your girls. So, so. Dude, I'm, I don't know about the whole penis situation. Like, where do I move my hands? Because you said Exhibit A had the little dick. Yes. And Exhibit B had, had, the, had the wood. So he goes up that much. Because the nigga was already here. So where does he go from there? Bro, having a big dick puts you in a, a very great conversation, my nigga. I'm going to say right here. Okay. okay. He's, he's not so he went, from, he went from being trash to... Damn. Okay, let's do that one more time for the people at home. Yeah. Oh, that's why ain't shit niggas ain't doing right. Yeah, probably so. But <laughs> girls usually they 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 want their girls to pay because sadly we're their counsel, we're their board of directors for their love life. Sadly, and so they 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 they, they as a, as us being a board of directors, we're having the conversation. Who should you choose at the day for a mate? So I can't even send man niggas don't send pictures like oh look this shorty body this other shorty body. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to make my girlfriend. Y'all probably just worried about like trying to hit. Hell no, I'm not sending that picture. Be like, which one I'm going to make my girl? Mm -hmm. I'm going to text him and be like, hey, my nigga. I ain't got to send no picture. Hey, my nigga. 
Shorty, 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 shorty. I'm trying to figure out, you know, they be like, all right. You, they may ask, you know, who got the better box. But, you know, you know, whoever, they, but they're not going to ask for the answer. They'll be like, whoever got the better box, you know, mm -hmm. if it comes down to it after all the pros and cons, if they still even, like, who got the better box? Mm -hmm. make, you know, you ain't got to tell us, but, you know, make the decision to yourself. Who got the better net, you know? You ain't got to tell us, make decisions to yourself. Okay, girls, tonight we're going to have that whole conversation just, now. And then usually, and then we have it together in front of us. Because niggas, niggas going to be trying to be, like, too into what uh, they, they man's girl is, like, good at sexually. Like, that's, no, no, no. We're that's not, not something you no, really want to know. Like. We're not talking about sexual. We're just going through the list of pros and cons. Oh, no, no, for sure, for sure. For like, sure. we literally, we're not going to talk about how the sex is good. We're not going to talk about oh, that. Oh, no, since, matter of fact, since you want to go there. So, oh, here we I go. got a question. Since you want to go there, if the sex was good. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So, since we on like talking about thirst trap and all that, so do you tell men the truth or do you lie about the ego? Like, do you lie for the ego or do you tell men the truth? Like, the game is supposed to be sold, not you know, given. Oh, this nigga's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Said the game is sold, not given. Yes. Got paid for it. Yes. Damn. Give me 20. One, two, no. three. Nigga, four. give me cash. That's five times four. No, give me cash. I just paid you when you got here. Thank you for the food. Uh, all right. It's so bad. <laughs> Breaking girl code across the United States. No, nah, but like, all I'm saying is, that like, why is it, why, my feel, why do women, I hear a lot of women do say they lie about it. They lied, you know. To protect the baby's ego. Why do you why are you lying? Because most niggas don't know where the G spot is. Then tell that nigga. But <laughs> not all hold up, not tell all, that nigga. all not all men are not ready to hear that, honey, I know you think you can put it down, but you can't. And we gotta work. Do you, you like, just hold, on, the a, nigga. hold on, hold on. If a girl came up to you and said, Baby. Baby, you are a great man, boo. You are a great provider. You do everything amazing. But, boo, boo, we have to work on your sex game. Like, you're not getting me to my maximum okay. pleasure. And that's cool. How would so, you take that? Could you take that without your ego being hurt? I can give a fuck. Because why are we waiting this long for you to tell me? That's the first question right there. Why are we taking so long for you to tell me? Because. So, blah, 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 blah. I ain't finna. Why you take so long to tell me? First of all, second of all, you should have already been like it. Just like in the midst of sex, you should already be like just saying little things that you like. Like if I sit there, like all right, prime example. If you say you 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 know you you mess with a dude, right? He he in the guts, making moves, looking like John Travolta in the joint, you know. And then you be like, oh, you know, make sure you do it faster. Obviously, that's like a, a key that a nigga be like, oh yeah, she obviously wants me to do it faster. So I'ma just go a little bit fast. Like y'all tell a nigga harder, slap my ass, pull my head, choke me. Why you can't tell a nigga angle your dick this way, stroke it slower, put the bottom if, if they angled a certain way, put the bottom of your dick on the bottom of my vagina. Like what what are you doing? Give me what I need. Like, what's so what's so hard for you telling a nigga that? My bad. You know, I just, I just want to know. See, not every Negro in America is like you. But, but not every woman, in, but there are a lot of women in America that don't want to teach men that are willing to learn. Oh! That's a, that's a, that's a, woo! In the comment section. It's a quote for another day. It's a quote for another day. But, that, that's just me. The, the thirst trap etiquette, though, um, no face, no case. I feel like that's the best thing for me, cause no face, no case. Let me know now. Um, I know some guys are probably getting excited. Melissa do dress trap. I do not do dress trap. You are not that lucky. You are not that special. So don't even think about it. That's just a disclaimer. Oh my God, I can't hit you like I want to, cause I'm not supposed to. Okay, I can't heard your little, sm little smart mouth. I heard just little smart mouth. You heard what future said. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm blacker than black. And I'm black, y'all. My, my, my addition to the new black today is, um, this was very, um, different. It was established in 2017. Okay. 
Um, so it's been going on for almost four years now. Okay. Um, he is currently one of my students. Oh. Um, and he makes his own lemonade. Yes. It's called the Bittersweet Lemonade. All right. Um, you can you know, get more information about the Bittersweet Lemonade it's by a young student of mine named mm -hmm. Nicholas Thompson, my man. So um, he's in my class. Uh, he's in my third. I want to say my third and my fifth period class. Okay. Third and sixth period. My bad. Mm -hmm. So um, the company uh, website is www. the t h e bittersweet lemonade. Oh, that's exactly how it sounds. The bittersweet lemonade. dot com. Um, uh, the number is 240-274-4418 okay. for those that like to make call-in orders. Okay. Um, they do quarts, pints, Ooh. 10 ounces, I think Four. 8 ounces. Um, I'm trying to get them to do like a couple gallons for me for real. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, have some nice little juice for this party. And I'm actually going to try to use one of these for punch. Yeah, on the show? Yeah. I, I actually, my co was nice enough to share. You know he don't share nothing with me. Okay? I do. Why? whatever don't lie for the camera anyway he was nice enough to share some with me and this tastes really good so yes this tastes very good all right so co-host this is probably tmi but smell my wrist it smells good okay so for my new black is tiara goes green she has scents um i forgot what scent i'm wearing but she has really amazing body butter she has she's everything about health even what you put on your body you know lotion wise so I love her perfumes and I love her body butters. Like I basically made order four for my mom and a lot of my best friends and stuff and everything. And then I'll probably put it under today what I'm wearing, but he says it smells good. I love it. So you know. Um, so that's my new black. So Tierra goes green, go to her website and everything. Her body butters sell only until February. That's one of my favorite items. It's because of the shipping in winter. So please go catch it before you know it's it's off the the box, you know, the, the racks, the sell. And everything because girl this makes you smell good once again my name is melissa it's your boy a pocket and we are converse